<laughs> but speaking of no cap on skill, I'm very excited for this next matchup. These, these oh, both these teams are aggressive. They're you know they're they're well practiced and you know it's just I, I don't even know who who who's gonna win. Well, this next one is a best of five, so they're gonna have to pick five maps here. So uh, we're about to go into the map picking stage, and uh, we're gonna end up with five as soon as they're ready here. All right, let's let's see what the first strike is. What do you think the first strike's gonna be? Temple of Anubis. Uh, oh, and Oasis. it's Oasis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that was because uh, they didn't they didn't pick anything or if. Uh... Yeah, it could be. They they could be still figuring it out. Uh, yeah. Team two is deciding. They're they're taking a good while. I, I, hopefully, they're communicating what about what their strengths and their weaknesses are. Um, but then again, they, if they've already decided that, we <laughs> these maps would be gone by now. <laughs> I would like to see uh, Ilios make its way in here. Oh and, yeah, uh, and I can vote. I would like to see that as well. Yeah, you know, at this at this level, uh, you know, th there's just so much that could happen. You know. Oh, definitely. And um, there's a, there's a lot more games to be played here. So it it looks like Playfair is their biggest strength is positioning. They know where to be. They know what to do. Garbage Squad is just their their beast. They they're gonna push through really hard. So Playfair has gotta they gotta step up their game. They have to be ready for really just about anything. Yeah, definitely. And Garbage, Stop, Garbage Squad did a great job on defense as well. They had uh, some really interesting, uh, interesting strategies with the Torbjorn pick. They had some Metro pick, so they had a lot going on for them. I, yeah, I would watch out for especially that Torb. He he knows where to put his turrets, and he knows you know when to swap them out. That uh, I wouldn't want to play against that a Torb like that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Not. Uh, it looks like Nepal just got striked. Um, it looks like also Watchpoint Gibraltar and uh, Nubani. Hollywood's out. I guess Play Fair watched how Garbage Squad played that one out. <laughs> like, no, get that out of here immediately. Nepal hasn't seen any play. Honestly, I'm I'm a big fan of Nepal. I I love that map, but um maybe they're just it's not one of their strengths. It's okay. It's it's, it's a map. <laughs> <laughs> they're all maps, Ryan. All right. It looks like Route 66. Awesome. Uh, if it was up to me, that would have been going first. <laughs> <laughs> all right. About four seconds now. We'll see if King's Row, Li Zhang Tower, or uh, Hanamura. Ilios is out. Oh no! Oh uh, man, that's one of my favorites. But you know what? Maybe they're not trying to play because they don't. You know, they don't want the other team getting their strength either. Yeah, I guess so. And we just a reminder: this is best of five, so five maps have to be picked. So we really only have two more maps to strike. Yes. Let's see what what goes on with those. And uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think this one's going to be uh, just going to be a stomp all the way through. I think this one's going to be a very evenly played. You, you know, I, I I have to agree with you. I I don't know what side is the you know the high ground here. Hadamior gets striked. Uh, you know that hasn't been played all game. I don't think. And there are five maps. Oh, Tempo of Anubis. That that was cut out really quick. I wonder. I wonder good, if that is a reason. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a reason for that. But uh, we're all set. Looks like our first map is going to be Dorado. All right. Interesting. We haven't seen that one yet today, have we? Oh no, not at all. Okay. So uh, what, what do you what do you think uh, what do you think each team needs to uh, to do to prevent the other team from winning? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I am not at their level. I can't tell you. If I was playing against these guys, I'd I'd probably just be slamming my face across the keyboard. Like, <laughs> I, I really can't tell you. These guys are way way above me. So. <laughs> all right, and then you know their their SR is pretty varied across each team. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there might be a, like a Grandmaster or two sprinkled between some of them. That would be cool. I've uh, I've never gotten the opportunity to, to play against one of those. But, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm I'm so thrilled to watch this. I've had so much fun just watching the other games. You know, everyone tonight has played you know very well. It, it's just going to come down to really like you know uh, who who gets the upper hand. Yeah, definitely. All right, looks like we're ready to go in for Dorado. Playfair versus Garbage Squad in the finals. And uh, here's the first match. All Enter right. The game now. So, what are some things that we need to watch out for when uh, when starting up this? Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't really tell you on this one. I don't. I don't really think there are any uh, very very special strategies onto this. Uh, the, the first uh, the first important thing here is the uh, the first choke point right about to the left here, where the camera's looking right now. That's mm -hmm. the, that's the payload. If you move <laughs> a little bit to the right. That's where they're likely going to be set up. That's where uh, most of my games take place, at least. Oh, absolutely. That's definitely the first choke point that uh, they're going to have to struggle to get through. And it looks like uh, Team Garbage Squad is attacking first. Yes. And right. uh, Team Playfair 
is defending. I wonder if, uh, okay, oh, picks a Roadhog, okay. Roadhog pick, I guess, I guess so. I mean, if you have the upper level, it might be a strong pick, you know, pulling them up the uh, the top floor there. It'll be very interesting to see what kind of positioning we get here. That's a golden, that's a golden uh, gun right there. So. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> You know, it, 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 so it just, it just goes to show that this, you know, Soldier's probably one of his stronger picks. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Skins equals wins, right. <laughs> so uh, I know that um, in some of the tougher games I've played on this, there, there's been uh, Widow, Widowmaker picks, and they're, uh, you know, on top of the buildings at the very first choke point here. So um, who knows what they're going to switch up to here. Looks like they're all sticking to the basic 2-2-2 mm -hmm. combo here. And... Um, it's going to be an interesting one. They're exactly where I thought they would be, too, right up top there. Oh, absolutely. And it looks like, um, let's see what kind of healers they have. They have uh, Anna and Zenyatta on one, and it looks like they have Anna and Lucio on the other. That's so, a lot of damage coming out from their healers there. Yeah, they're going to have to move. It looks like they're going to try and move pretty fast. All right. They're coming up on the choke point here. It looks like the, uh, the Reinhardt shield was taken down pretty quickly there. Yeah. And they are already repositioning, going down around the back, ready to stop them underneath instead of on top. Now, some, some people like to push up all the way on this map, but um, one, of the, one of the perks of, uh, of doing what they're doing right now is like they have a great position for where they're at. So if they would have stayed farther back and they all died. That seems like to be the biggest mistake. Biggest, yeah. Most common mistake I've seen on this map. They've already got some picks. Looks like they're going to keep pushing here. And uh, it's, it's, there's so much going on. There's it's, so much damage being just thrown out there. I'm telling you, this the Garbage Squad, they're aggressive, and it's showing right now. They're, they're pushing right through, and I, I think if uh, Playfair really wants to really get another chance at this, they're going to have to step up their game and make some changes. I think Playfair is doing just fine, uh, just fine holding this down, though. Yeah, they, they don't seem to be pushing it too much farther. They are pretty close to the first... Uh, First objective. All right. Oh, it looks like Reinhardt ulti out. They nano the Zarya, which is that, that was a that was an interesting pick. Looks like they're going to give this objective to him and set up at the next one. And they are ready. They do have a couple ultimates up on the uh, on the attack side, so let's see what they can do with that. Or I'm not, sorry, on the defense side. All right, and they're just pushing ahead. Oh, and that Roadhog hook on the Diva. Oh, Ooh, and look at that. There's an aggressive ulti there. Doesn't seem to have gotten anything done for him though. Zarya is down. There they go. Diva's about to go down. Um, oh. Oh, I thought she used her <laughs> ultimate there. I thought that's what that's what that was. All right. <laughs> so she's trying to get back it. in. Three picks on him. They have just so uh, close. Oh, and she looks like she might even take down the Roadhog. Four minutes to hit the next objective. They're about halfway to the uh, to the the uh, middle point there, and they are coming up on it pretty quick. Doesn't look like they're getting slowed down at all. They do have a lot of ultimates on the uh, defense, so hopefully they can put those to good use. All right. Roadhog going around, heals himself. He saved his uh, his ability heal, so that's, that's going to be good. Because if they're going to push up here, it's going to be uh, quite the battle with all these ults. They do have their support ultimates, so they have a pretty good chance of staying alive in this next fight. Oh, Ryan they want to defend and make a play. Oh, Ooh, there's the pick. Play fair. Crazy. Is, they're getting torn apart right now. Yeah, Garbage Squad is coming in, and uh, they're, they're taking this uh, quite smoothly, so. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're moving fast, and, you know, we, um, hopefully Gar uh, Garbage Squad, uh, you know, keeps it up, and hopefully Play Fair can move just as fast. Yeah, definitely. All right, looks like we have the Diva ult. That might be pretty good. You know, put that right on top of the objective. Nobody can go near that, so unless they're, uh, they're Reinhardt's uh, up and ready to fight. Oh, it looks like they're actually going for a triple tank on... Um, now that Team uh, Garbage off. Squad, yeah. They yeah. only have one DPS there, which they're using as as their soldier. It's definitely a good pick. You need that hit scan. And uh, as a newer player, you, uh, I wouldn't even think switching up while you're winning is, a, is a, such a great idea. But clearly they know what they're doing because they, they're just moving and moving and moving. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the map they're playing on or if it's because uh, the team comp they're playing against. You know, They seem to be, uh, seem to be playing well with it, though. Oh, and they're, and they're staying with that payload, too, which is just, it's so crucial. Looks like they're going to get regrouped here. And uh, there's a lot of defensive ultimates that they still have. Doesn't look like they've used them yet. They're holding on to those, waiting for some, some more to build up. Might try to use a whole bunch at once here. I definitely think they're catching their bearings because it's just, um, it, it's hit a standstill. 
All right. Fire back. Oh, and she's Ooh, down. Taken <laughs> out. Very quick. Oh, aggressive Owen. play on their defense. Oh, look at that Reinhardt. Oh, oh. and he gets pushed back. That wasn't too oh, bad. Wow. Move. All right, looks like they're holding this down All still. Right. And wow. Let's get back on that fight. There we go. Wow, they're still holding this one down. That was a very good counter ulti by their Reinhardt there. All right, and the Lucio goes down. They're down a healer. I think they still have one, um, but they're going to have to regroup if they're going to push it a little bit more. They still got three minutes though, so uh, they're in a very they're in a very solid place. And you yeah, know, yeah, definitely. It, that all that pushing really helped. You know, they. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, being towards the end of the map helps them uh, win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm more referencing how how fast they push. You know. Oh they, yeah. They are just you know. Almost an unstoppable beast, but it, it looks like play fair is stopping them right here. End of the map might be their strong suit, or maybe they just didn't have the uh, the ultimates available at the time. I would love to be in their chat and hearing what they're talking about right now because it looks like they've got something on the works. They're all grouped up here. They're pushing solid with that Ryan. Soldier is just, you know, he, he's got a solid aim. There they go. Oh, I thought that was going to land. Which one's oh, going to oh. win? Roadhog versus Roadhog. Both oh, and he missed miss. the hooks. Looks like they're just going to forget about the fight entirely. <laughs> and Soldier, Soldier is just, uh, he, he's keeping a solid defense. Farrah's got her ulti. Is Ooh, she going to drop it now or is she going to wait? I would wait if I were her. I don't know. I guess it really depends on what's going on. Uh, they don't they don't have uh, much going for Ooh. Oh, oh, and a, oh, an attempt with a boot, but it looks like it looks like they uh, they made it through okay. That Anna's giving some great heals right now. They're pushing up here. They're keeping them as far away from the objective as possible. They've quite, they pushed it back uh, quite a great deal as well. So we just passed we just passed the uh, two minute mark. So they're they're keeping a solid defense. They've been they've been at it for about uh, two minutes now. Uh, if they can keep it another two minutes, uh, I, I think they have a, they're in a good position. So yeah, definitely. They have uh, some great. Great ultimates here coming up on their supports. That might make a very big difference in these plays. That's really all they need, you know, to, uh, they've, they've got a lot of damage from the uh, Ana ulti coming up, and uh, they can stay alive with the ulti from Lucio. Some great so aim right there. Pull out. Some great aim there. From oh, there it is. Great. They've got the, uh, the Zenyatta ulti holding them down, keeping them alive. All right, and it looks like that Ana and Ana went to waste. Yeah, it did. The Ana ulti definitely didn't, uh, wasn't as useful as it could have been there. Right. They do like have that soldier ulti, a lot of offense ready. And they're going, they're going for the oh, push here. For they're oh, wiping oh, them out while they don't have down. the ultimates. They do have that fair ultimate still on the uh, defense. They might be able to hold it down just a little bit. Yeah, I definitely think she's waiting just for that crucial moment. Ooh. Oh, and she's down. Did not see that coming. Oh, it looks like they're, they're just a meter away from winning this. Well, at least winning this match, this round. <laughs> 50 seconds left, if they can delay. Oh, so close. Oh, and that was solid, you know. I. It, I, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm surprised, but that was, they're, they're a pretty mean force on offense. Yeah, well, it was uh, very close, so. Um, but you know, Playfair was playing pretty solid on offense too, so we'll see where, uh, where this takes us. Uh, I'm really excited to see what kind of picks they get. Yeah, definitely. Now we're switching sides. Uh, looks like Playfair is gonna be on offense this time. So uh, let's see how well they do. You know, um, it looked like uh, on our previous games, Garbage Squad had a really, really solid offense. Maybe that, uh, that that's going to, you know. Yeah, and you know, we didn't really get an opportunity <laughs> to see too much of their defense. Um, they, it seemed as if their offense is their, is their, their strongest point. Um, play fair, too. They, they seem like they've got a lot more synergy going on, while Garbage Squad altogether is just one mean push. Yeah, so if, yeah. If... You know, if Playfair can, you know, spread themselves out a little bit and just take out these, you know, players individually, because Garbage Squad, they, they just have such great skill individually. So really just focusing each each of the, you know, the big hitters, you know, I, I would take out that McCree and Soldier probably ASAP. Yeah, they definitely got a lot going here. Switching sides is gonna, uh, it's gonna make things, I think, I think Playfair is gonna have uh, a little bit of an advantage on this side, but we'll see how it goes. They're picking their uh, team compositions here. They got 30 seconds until the game starts. Doesn't look like too much have been changed. Uh, Lucio and Zanyata on the um, on the uh, offense, so that's going to be pretty good. They're going to be pretty fast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it also the Zen op gives a lot more options to allow players to move about the map. So they um, uh, they still got that triple tank cop going. Triple tank 
composition going for them on uh, Garbage Squad, and they switched their uh, soldier to a McCree. So they still got that hit scan down, but um, only one DPS still. And you know, that, that Anna makes sense because, you know, they don't really get too far away from each other, so she can give really quick heals and she doesn't even have to go far. Oh, and look Ooh, at that That was boot. crazy. That was, that was a great play right there. Definitely opened them up to move a little bit faster, but Looks she's like she down. got stuck in there. It's all right, she uh, did oh. her job there. She got the uh, team out of the way, Diva's pushed them down from their, their point. Diva's cleaning up right now. Oh yeah, she's doing a great job. Exactly what she's supposed to do. Attacking their back line. Look at that, they they, they just stayed the deci well, yeah, I guess technically decimated. <laughs> one, one tenth is about gone, so. <laughs> so, they the cleaned it up. The important part is that they got this, uh, the objective rolling here and they are pushing them back behind the objective. So that way they don't they don't even have a chance of stopping it. Oh, now that Winston's holding them down too. Oh yeah, he is, he's just diving on in there. Um, like I said, they're doing exactly what I said they needed to do to win. They, they while they're they're keeping it close, they're they're spreading out a little bit. They're harder to hit. Um, garbage squad. They just they like to keep it tight, you know. Yeah, definitely. Still getting that push. They got uh, five minutes now since they took that first objective. Look at that. That they're, they're moving really quick. This is oh, this is almost the same level of play as earlier. Uh, drop, oh, yeah. Dropping that emote on the. Uh, on the playlist. Maybe there's something I don't know, and the uh, the best place to hold it is uh, actually the very, very, very end of the map. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, you know. Most of my games end before there, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, takes down that Winston barrier. Um, if we could switch to the other team real quick just to see what they've got going on. Looks like they're, you know, they're pretty solid and grouped up. They got a Winston, so looks like he's ready to uh, ready to pounce on that objective. Now, if they win this, they've got a uh, an overtime going on for this game specifically, right? Oh, absolutely. So we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, one more match. Um, they've got uh, quite a bit of time built up on uh, the other side. So the 48 plus 30 seconds, right? Is oh, yeah. Is that how yeah. it works? Absolutely. Oh, a lot going on here. Zarya ulti down. Takes down the Diva soldier. Diva ulti out. Zenyatta ulti. Looks like it's uh, helping him. Keep him alive. Oh, and, he's, and there's there's zoning that Zarya right there. The, that payload is just it's just not stopping. I think they might come out on top with more time than Garbage Squad has. I and, agree. I think uh, they're definitely going at a better rate, much faster rate than Garbage Squad was. But this is where it all matters because this is exactly where they got choked up earlier. So it, it, it all depends really right here. Now I wonder if it affected it all making that change up. To, to a triple tank, I believe that's what they did right around here. So may, maybe no, they had triple tank almost the entire game, as far as I know. That's that's, that's possible. I, I, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, they actually switched much. off of uh, off of the triple tank. Now they have two DPS on their team, so they got both the hit scan, uh, soldier, and McCree on their team on um, garbage squad. All right, the soldier looks like he's keeping a solid defense. All right, looks like those two are about to go down. Oh yeah, they are not where they oh, should be. Lucio's. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. There. They're still getting a lot of pushing going here, though. Oh my goodness, Ooh, yeah. Lucio's putting them up there, getting some damage off. Objective keeps moving forward, and they've got four minutes and 30 seconds right now to try to win this game. All right, now- Looks uh, like they're splitting up, building up their ultimates here. Yeah, I'm not sure what Garbage Squad can do to stop this push because, you know, this is, this is a different beast. Oh, there you go. pushes, exactly pushes what you it. Can do. <laughs> Ooh, oh, still it lands it though. And lo unloads it. Just got yeah. lost there. <laughs> Didn't know where he went. Oh, All and right. just kills Roadhog. Crazy picks. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to push it forward since only their uh, soldier is alive. All right, they've got a little bit of time to uh, set up here and prepare for the uh, the next attack right. from Team Playfair. He's got that ready. Fidel Cashflow. I love that name. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Uh, it looks like they're just getting ready for them to, to make that push. It looks like they're going up the left side though, so hopefully they turn their heads quick enough, but I'm not so sure. It looks like they're they're taking the same strategy Garbage Squad did to, to win this, so. Oh, and they meet him up there. That 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 was great. Oh, Ooh, and he gets charged. Play. He gets charged. Diva's almost there at her ult. The defensive Lucio ult is definitely gonna keep him alive there. They came out of that one on top. They have a lot of ulties building up on top of that as well. Now, it's going to be interesting to see where, where Soldier decides to drop his ultimate because it, it, right there in that hallway, it's just not going, to, not going to cut it. No, definitely not. They're going to have to, uh, he's going to have to get behind him and hit him when they're not expecting it. 
There it is. Uh, he's working his way up there. Both soldiers have their ulti ready. Which he really one's hit that kill staircase. each other first? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it looks like he looks like he's just about ready to defend. All right, and uh, payload is moving back a little bit. They are prepared to jump down on it whenever uh, whenever they go forth though. Ooh! Oh man! Taking out just immediately. Cleans them out. That that's you know that's just to to be expected. They're they're this this defense right here is just so. I can't tell if it's just easier or if it's just a lot harder to attack. Yeah, I don't know. They do have a ton of ultimates ready on both teams. And they still have plenty of time. If they can get back and push this, they'll end up with more time than uh, than Garbage Squad has. So it's about a minute for Garbage Squad, and they're about, like, I would say if, if they do this push solid enough, they might have a minute and 30 seconds. I would say the other game looked very similar to this as far as, uh, you know, waiting until the last under minute push. This is this is getting pushed right to the point where they had the issue. So There's hopefully, the Creole coming out. Reinhardt just keeps it. Oh man, there it goes. There goes the shield. That wasn't even well up there for a second. Him. Oh, look at that. Ooh, they're pushing right underneath of it. Roadhog's gonna wait for that ulti to go down. Oh, oh, and look at that. Look he at that. Still placement. gets hit. Has so much health. Doesn't even affect him. You know, it's amazing to watch. Just you know how much they're just paying so much attention to what's going on. They're countering. It. it you know, it's just such a fun game to watch. Yeah, it really, really is exciting. A lot to keep track of. There's definitely more going on here than in our other games. There's a lot going on. All right. Eva out of mech. Let's see if she'll charge it up quick enough. Looks like they're going to take it here. Oh. About uh, double the amount of time they did. And there they go. Yeah, minute right 35 there. seconds versus uh, one minute. Uh, yeah, I, that, they're exactly right. They uh, um... Taking it right into uh, overtime here. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it's about a minute to a minute and 30. So we'll, we'll be interesting to see how far they push. Um, Garbage Squad, you know, <laughs> they just have that really quick push. So if they can just get it up there really quick and have a solid defense, they might come out on top. But if Playfair changes it up, they, you know, and, and they keep it, you know, keep keep doing what they did earlier, I, I think, you know, it could go either way. I, I bet know. you both teams make it very, very far in both of their attacking rounds. Because uh, if you think about it, almost the entire push up until the very end, they were almost on the objective the entire time. So I bet you they both make it um, pretty close to the end of the map here. Oh, check almost. it out. There's a little bit of switching up. It looks like uh, they got a main. Oh, they're going back the to a uh, triple tank. Yeah. yeah, check that out. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I would, pick, yeah. <laughs> I would love to be in this chat and listening to what they say because this is so evenly matched and, you know, it's it. If I was playing, this would be a lot of fun. May pick know? seems important, though. Yeah, it's definitely going to slow them down, split their team up. That's mm -hmm. going to be a really strong pick for them if they use it right. And they definitely seem like they're playing at a level where they're ready to use that right. So. All right. If you're in the chat, um, welcome. If, is, if you're just joining in, uh, we're in the first of uh, the best of five for the finals. Um, you know, while, while we're you know waiting for this to start, tell us what your favorite anniversary skin is. All right, so it starts. Lucio is uh, speed boosting them out there. Looks like uh, they're waiting at that same choke that everyone's been wait, uh, stacking up at. Oh yeah, now they don't have the uh, the Pharah on the enemy team to split them up either. But they do have that Widowmaker pick that I was talking about. Oh, absolutely. So who who knows if they're gonna put that to good use? Soldier's going around. He's he's gonna try and just take them out. But you know that's Arya. You know she'll just already running low on time. Doesn't matter because they're not stepping off that objective that much they're right on top of it even though they're technically not pushing it right now and you know uh, if, if i was someone on the other team right now i definitely would try and get up on top and you know take some shots at them oh it looks, oh, like, it looks uh, like there's a disconnect on one of the teams here uh i guess the game just has to keep playing and they have to uh try and hope reconnect. to reconnect for that one um, and that, that's Garbage Squad, so this, this might not fare well for them. Uh, didn't expect this to happen. Uh, if someone can go into the uh, Discord chat and see if we can uh, find out what's going on. Unfortunately, we can't stop the tournament because... Uh, yeah, they're, they're already in the middle of the game here. It, oh, he's, he's reconnected. Oh, Maybe perfect. we can get he's a back chance in. to uh, keep oh, it man. on here. <laughs> All right. Still have somebody alive there. I, I really, I, hopefully that doesn't affect them too much. They're still but, delaying it. They're still delaying it. You know, they might have a chance here. Oh, and that Reinhardt and takes it. out that D.Va. That's a shame. Uh, you know, but we, we still don't know what the next the next round holds. Uh, they'll just have to come back. And uh, they still have um, this best of five, so they still have a couple games to uh, to play to. 
All right, let's see where this goes. Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to stop it. Uh, you know, trail ahead on this one. So. All right, and also if you're if you're just checking in, we are doing a giveaway for our. Uh, Rehosting re our Twitch uh, stream, so please rehost our Twitch stream, and you'll be entering a giveaway. We have um, one of our teammates uh, keeping track of that, so we'll we're still yeah, yeah. We're, we still got our eyes uh, on you guys. <laughs> and at the end of the stream, we will announce who the winner is, and we'll be in contact shortly about your uh, your gift card. Um, this this has been a lot of fun. This has been a, a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Um, we we expected eight teams to play, but you know we're so happy four ended up joining, and this. You know, went a lot smoother <laughs> than I thought it would go. Yeah. But, uh, we we we've been scrambling for uh, for a couple days here, working really hard. We wanted to make this fun, and um, we want to make it regular. So please, you know, comment on the Reddit thread, or you know, send us an email if you want to join next time. And we would love to have a larger tournament, more spread out, maybe over a weekend. Uh, and uh, we also want to help support other tournaments that are going on. So if any of you guys had the same idea, and you know, you want to get something started reach out to us and we would love to help you out and you know give you some tips on what we did to start this yeah definitely thank you to everybody who signed up uh you know last minute too and made this possible we really appreciate it all right this game's getting going they don't have too far to push here and they've got a little bit more time than the enemy team so let's see where this goes all right looks like they have a bastion which uh yeah he, he's keeping mobile and uh Oh, he's, he's not going to let anyone through. <laughs> <laughs> There's the bastard pick I was talking about. You just sit in one spot. <laughs> uh, the good old left click. They do have a, uh, a Genji on the other side, though, so Diva's Genji might be pretty strong to take oh, it out. Oh, and he's down. Oh, they're so close, and they've got a whole minute left oh, to push man. it forward. Let's see if they can do it. And, and it's real unfortunate about that disconnect that really could have thrown them off, but I, I really hope this doesn't throw them off for the entire match because the, both of them have been playing so well. And I'm hoping this goes all the way to five games because, you know, I want to see a lot more of this gameplay. Diva, Diva, great, great shield right there. Didn't take any of that Roadhog damage. She's gonna go up there and looks like she's gonna, gonna try and build him her here, ulti. Yeah. Oh no, right she gets she gets right dealing in front. with that Bastion pick. Ooh, Winston's in there helping her out. Way to go. There we go. All uh, right, he, he looks like he might not make it through. Oh, she nah, focuses Mercy, right. Mercy heals. Uh, yeah, held looks... that down pretty tight. And they're back to contesting that, trying to push forward. Oh, Winston's going down. Is he going to make it back for heals? Oh, it looks like he did. Reinhardt's got his stun. We'll see if he drops it. But got uh, less than 10 seconds here to get back on there. Oh man, look at that. It. Maywall looks like it might hold it down back from him. Oh, and it looks like someone just Ooh, and they're on. on there. Just in time. If Diva can get that ult, that might be it for this game. Nah, not enough time. I don't know if it stays contested, but it doesn't look like Garbage Squad is about to let that happen. Uh, they did a really, very, very good job. This, that, it was a great comeback. Down. Such a great comeback. Wow, good for them. Wow, that was that was that was something else. Just goes to show that you know, you, just because you you had a hiccup doesn't mean you can lo you, you'll lose. You know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but, but um, a lot of crazy turnarounds like that happen all the time. I, I'm surrender that. I'm excited to see what the play of the game was. Oh yeah, and, for sure. And the replays too. Um, <laughs> Let's let's see what we got here. Oh, it's and it's Bastion. Bastion. There it is. I bet you'd see ulti at the very end of the game here. All right, let's see. Oh, and he pressed shift. <laughs> <laughs> but oh see, no, it, it's not even. Oh, there it is. In, in all seriousness, this this was you know a great pick, and it proved to win him the game. Yeah, definitely. You know, can't, can't I can't hate on what works. <laughs> And it looks like the cards are evenly divided up. Here's some other great gameplay from uh, from the game. It looks like uh, Soldier, he was killing it. Um, Diva, Diva getting behind them, and Lucio just, you know, he was really good with position. <laughs> uh, Playfair definitely played very, very well in this game. Uh, it was very, very close the entire time. They both made it um, as far as they possibly could, and they both held it down at very, very similar spots. I think the uh, upcoming games are going to be very close. All right, and what's that next map that we're gonna be on? King's Row coming up next. King's Row, okay, I'm I'm very thrilled. Another payload map. Yeah, not to forget this is a uh, best of five as well, so we've got a uh, quite a bit of time here to, uh, you know, drag this out. I would love to see um, if we can get a full five games in here. Stall. All right, we're just waiting on uh, getting everybody back in here. We are working on uh, getting everybody connected to the next next map. 
All right. So how's everyone doing tonight? Tell us in the Twitch chat. We'll have we'll have we'll have them read out some uh, read out some names. We, we got <laughs> we got a little bit of time. Yeah, we uh, our giveaways did very well. We still got one more going on for the uh, the host. If you host the stream, all you have to do is have a Twitch account. You don't have to have any uh, any followers. All you have to do is press the host button at the bottom, and you will be entered into the giveaway for a twenty-five dollar gift card here. So. This is, I, I'm still I'm watching these replays and it, it's just amazing to me like you know what you know Ooh. what a good team <laughs> can do down. when you know when they when they got synergy and I, I didn't even know what synergy was until after watching this game. All right, let's take a look at this. <laughs> can you show Rokes falling off the map? Do we have? Uh, can, I'm not sure if we can pull that replay up. Uh, our, <laughs> we're, we're gonna work on a system where we can do that. Um, let's see here. Someone tell me what game this is. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> Competitive Minecraft, that would be interesting. Tim! <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tim the Tap Man, give me money please. All right, friendly reminder. <laughs> All right, Mercy Mercy Main, by the way. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, okay, that was from earlier, that was uh, telling us uh, <laughs> what your name was. Uh, yeah, this, um, we, we're having so much fun. I can't. I can't express how setting how all happy this up <laughs> alone was uh, a ton of fun as well. Getting uh, all the uh, computers and equipment together to make this happen was uh, was. I think the hardest part was flying out to Watchpoint Gibraltar so we could you know be in this room right here. How old are you, <laughs> farts? I I'm 19. <laughs> farts? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure I understand that, but uh, yeah. That's... Too 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 old for that one, I guess. Congratulations yeah. on winning that prize, by the way, Steve Meister. Um, I'm not reading that one. <laughs> All right. Let's hope we can get everybody into this next game here on King's Row. It's a map we've had played in the series already. Not in uh, not in this best of five, but in the previous series. So. Now I wonder if anyone's going to pick Symmetra again because that you know that that didn't seem like it did a lot of work for the uh, for each team. I, I would maybe pick something that does a lot more damage. Even with zoning, it didn't seem like it, it phased anyone. I don't know. I think these teams are playing at uh, an entirely different level here, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what what picks are going to come out of it on these different maps. I don't know if uh, Symmetra is really as reliable of a pick for uh, for some of the higher level gameplay here. All right, looks like we're getting we're just about to get started. Um, real quick, once again, rehost our stream, enter in that raffle. It's worth it. <laughs> I need free money. Yeah, free money. Well, not free. You have to work for it by rehosting our stream. <laughs> All right, All let's right. get going into King's Row. Here we go. Pretty cool. Think they're going to stick to the same compositions here? Oh, absolutely not. I think that you know they see they've seen each other play. I think they both teams have played on this map in this uh, in this uh, tournament. So I think they might change it up to counter it. There's it looks like one of them is picking well, Widowmaker. Um, I'm not sure which, which team is uh, which team's attacking right now. Uh, it looks like. Um, if you, team Playfair is attacking here, so. And uh, Team Garbage Squad is defending. So they've got a very interesting comp coming out here for the uh, defensive side. Both teams playing with the, uh, the sniper picks there. That's going to be interesting. Oh, absolutely. Love to see some of those. Who knows, maybe they're, maybe they're going to switch those up. And it looks like their healers are Lucio and Zenyatta. Looks like that that's been a common theme for this team throughout the uh, throughout the tournament. Lucio oh. Zenyatta, yeah. I guess they're very comfortable uh, pulling off plays with that Zenyatta ulti. That seems to be um, how they're holding things down best they can here. And it really fits their playstyle of uh, not specifically grouping up and kind of each working on each you know on their own little project. Okay, yeah. There, there's, there's the uh, dance emote. If you are haven't already seen it, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy that they added all that into the game. Oh yeah, getting out of the way for those, uh, those widow picks. Don't want to be in the middle of that. And we're getting right into it. Widow's still playing up there, trying to get some picks on the Lucio there. Uh, looks Doesn't like she, she might out. move it out. Switching oh. it out, right into Farah. That'll be a good one against them. Doesn't, oh, it looks like they have uh, the McCree to counter that one. They got the one-hit scan on them. And it, and it looks like I was I was right. They they decided against the Symmetra because they both uh, understand that it's just not doing a whole lot for zoning, especially against each other. Yeah, I think they're they're both at a 
at a level here where um, playing Symmetra would not be a good pick against it. So against either team, they're both uh, they're both prepared. They know they know how to get around it. They know not to walk in front of Paris and stuff. So ooh, that charge up there. Diva got right out of the way, but they are surrounding them from above. Who knows what's gonna happen? Ooh, killing him from the back line, that Diva. Oh, uh, looks like she might get that Lucio. Oh no, looks like he made it out okay. All right. And he took out the Reinhardt. A lot of damage going off here. It looks like they got a little bit of percentage here on the uh, on the objective. Who knows if we're gonna be able to keep oh. that going. Did they get the one tick? I don't think they got there yet. It looks uh, close though. No, nah, not yet. They're holding it down, there it is. Okay, let's see if they can keep pushing this one out. Ooh, slept. Oh, they woke her right up too. Good choice. You know, if you can finish off the kill, why not? All right. Uh, they're playing oh. back. They uh, they gave that point up. They knew that that was theirs. Yeah, it looks like uh, the payload's starting to move. I think it's the first time we've seen the payload move on this tonight. Uh, yeah, I believe the other map was uh, stopped right before that. I gotta give props to the Farah. The Farah has been playing great. Looks like she went down though because that Diva also just. Yeah, they they, yeah. they all they all individually are just really killing it. My favorite thing to do is to run up into the sky as a diva, you know, fly up there and shoot down a uh, a Farah. That's the most accomplishing thing to do. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and as a Farah player, I, I I hate players like you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Looks like Lucio is speeding everybody up. Let's see if they can move that payload a little faster too. All right. They've got it. They've got it under control right here. A lot of opens going off to get him out of the way. Looks like Roadhog couldn't get a pick, Ooh. but it looks like the uh, McCree did. No, nah, it was close. He didn't. He didn't. Pull, he didn't pull it off all the way. Fair got away with just enough health. They do have six ultimates coming in here on this uh, on this attack push. Let's see and how many of them they actually use though. Two, both divas have their ultimates. I wonder if they're gonna throw them concurrently. Because <laughs> It wouldn't be too bad of a play. There's one all down, and they've got the Lucio out. Looks like they still. Oh, look that was at that. Crazy. Oh, both both teams. teams. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Now it's a 3v3 match. Exactly what you said, too. Exactly what you said happened. <laughs> it, you know, it's just, it's not too bad of a play because both teams kind of think, you know, well, oh, I have the upper hand, but. It, it came out in favor for play fair there. They got the objective. That's what's uh, that's what they're playing for here. So. Oh, absolutely. It looks like they're they're approaching that that first checkpoint pretty quickly, um, but it looks like the defense is not going to let them take it very quick. <laughs> They've still got a couple ultimates here. To hold it down, and they're going in. And doesn't look like they're going to let them get it just yet. Oh, it looks like their their Reinhardt. It's got the uh, got was... the nano boost. Diva's about 50% to her ultimate. Let's see if she can drop another one before. No, it looks like they're gonna get the point before she gets to drop that again. Yeah, the Diva ultimate takes a long time to charge compared to the rest. So oh, absolutely. Uh, Farrah's got her ulti too, so. Looks Ooh. like they got a little bit of time to recover here on uh, defense. Three people on the on the payload, so. Oh, looks like two, one. Oh, man. A couple picks off the defensive uh, garbage squad here. It'll be interesting if both Divas get their, uh, their oh, no, it there's, looks like. There's one of the Diva ultis. No picks with it, but it pushed no. them all away. It did take Diva out of her mech, though, which is, I think, very important. Yeah. All right, they've got that uh, they've got that point secured. They're moving on to the last push with three minutes and 45 seconds left. I think uh, if, if this is like the last map, I don't think, um, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't think it's like the last map. I think that once you get towards the end, it's a little bit, uh, Easier to push than the, uh, the last map. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's at this point, you you really need to be uh, on your A game. You need to keep them right about here. If they get uh, any closer, I think it might be too easy to push it into the, uh, to the and final landing zone. There, it's so. not too bad having a Hanzo at this point if you're the def defending team because it's very important knowing where the players are. I'm I'm, I'm being honest. All with right. Because especially when you get up to that point, but you gotta you gotta be uh, very agile as a Hanzo. They switched to the Reaper pick, which is uh, seems to be like a pretty good one for this. And it looks like they're, they're trying to take down this tank. Out. Oh, that was a great stun. Looks like he's going Ooh, at. Oh, and he's taking Lucio down. Lucio ultimate kept them alive. They still got a chance here to push. They've got a couple ultimates ready, and they're uh, about three minutes to get this push going. They're making some progress here, moving it up, getting picks here. Ooh, Boostio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they added that voice line. Did they? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And boop. He says boop too. That's awesome. <laughs> but that was an event only one, so you and if you didn't get it, unfortunately. Oh you man. <laughs> it's 
see, uh, I kind of take back what I said earlier about I like the exclusivity because <laughs> now I'm upset that I don't have it. That's, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm right there with you, pal. All right, Roadhog gets, Ooh. oh, he got the hook. I thought he missed. Free kill there. Now they're missing their Ana. Dude, who did have their ultimate ready, but they still got two minutes, so they've got tons of time to uh, recover here, group up, and use that ultimate, ultimate on their next push. Garbage Squad is not letting them take this easy at all. They, they can barely get past that first checkpoint. Yeah, I mean, uh, at this level, it's not sure, uh, I'm not sure where, where the average ending point of these games are either. Y they you seem know, to be both playing very, very well all the way through. It's kind of, it's actually very, very similar to uh, the last game where, uh, you know, they, they had to defend here and they, they kept it. They kept it at one point for both teams and that's kind of where it ended, yeah. So I, I'm very interested to see if this if this is a common theme tonight. If uh, I don't know, is there another payload map on the list? Uh, I'm not sure. Looks like they've still got their Reinhardt and Anna ultimate ready. Oh, there's the there's the Zarya ulti group. There it is. Up. Oh, and the it looks attack. like it wasn't too effective. They got well, a couple definitely, picks. definitely kept them out of uh, attacking there, so they're not going to be pushing that for a little bit. They've got to regroup. They got about five picks with that one, so oh, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty solid ultimate by them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's what I like to see. <laughs> you know, and that, that's one of the most important things of playing Overwatch that players just don't seem to do, and that's have fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know, I get very, very easily frustrated with this game. <laughs> Forget about that all the time. But, you know, it, it, both teams, like, th this seems like such a solid matchup. I would love to see more of this. Uh, hopefully, just like I said, this goes to all five games. Well, 40 seconds left to push it a little bit farther, but uh, the offensive or the defense is actually falling a little bit high behind here. They are getting a little bit of distance going on. That looks like a uh, ultimate uh, soldier with the Ana ultimate on top of it too. And that might be the end of the line for the attacking team. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Seven seconds left. Well, 10, ten seconds, seconds left. left. <laughs> I'm not very ten good seconds at math. to make it all the way back to the objective. If they have time, they might have another chance, but if they can't touch it, and they've, they've touched it, can they can they keep a hold on it though? Now that it's in overtime. Oh no, it looks like the Zarya's keeping them just, just barely away. Somebody sneaked out there and made it on. Oh, and that is a nano boost to the It's pretty close on both teams. Oh no, it looks like that, uh, if they kill that tracer, they are uh, they are good to end it. Oh, and she's gone. Uh, I don't think they have time to make it back. No, it was a close one though. They made it pretty far. You know, it, it, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the same thing in the next game, but you know, it doesn't really put them in a great position. Oh, we uh, we do need to disable chat, like it said. Yep. <laughs> there <Thank> you go. <laughs> um, so I think they need a uh, a pause here. Can we pause the match? There we go. All right. Looks like they need to get some stuff going together for them. Um, until then, how do you think that uh, that match went? Uh, you know, for one, it was just, it was fun. It was fun to watch. I, I, I could see that they had fun, you know, playing it. it, it they're, they're very evenly matched. I don't yeah, think yeah. that, you know, either team really has a, a, an advantage on them. We just we just saw the, uh, the dual, um, the dual diva ult. Div, dual diva ult, that, yes, that's right. Okay, this is the uh, the last call right here for the uh, the hosting giveaway. If uh, you guys are interested in that, um, get your host in now before we do the giveaway. We'll probably do that after this after this game here, after game two, and they've got to switch sides here and uh, play the rest of this out. So, and please let us know if there uh, if there's anything that you you would like to see in the future with tournaments, um, things like maybe. I would be interested in 3v3, especially with the new update with the uh, 3v3 lockout. Oh, more maps, yeah. Uh, absolutely, um, doing some like smaller teams of three. You know, that's something I don't see a whole lot is doing, uh, changing it up. So, um, yeah, well, well, you know, just just let us know what you want to see, um, and we'll try to get that prize pool slowly <laughs> yeah, getting definitely. bigger. I know 120 doesn't seem like a whole lot for six people. We're, we're trying to reinvest everything that we've earned from this to uh, put it into bigger, bigger tournaments uh, going out, expanding across all sorts of games and stuff. We are very excited to be working under uh, Seagull Productions to make this uh, as big as possible. And honestly, you know, if you do the math, like 
we, we try to, you know, not take too big of a margin here. We yeah, want we want to reinvest it into more games for our viewers as well. That's uh, that's important that everybody watching the stream has a good time too. All right. Once again, uh, shout out to all things video games. <laughs> our our last last shout out to all <laughs> things video games. Once again, um, it, it just you know any any help helps us out, and you know they helped us with exposure and you know setting some stuff up. So yeah, um, thank you very much. Check out their website. I've said it you know several times. I just want you know uh, I'm just very grateful for doing this, and I'm I'd be very grateful to keep doing this, and um, especially expanding our audience, um, which is why we do the hosting giveaway because we want to. We, we want to encourage you to um, share us with your friends, and um, this has just been so much fun. I can't, yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't express how much fun this is. I do want to give a shout out to the uh, team making this happen because- Oh, it, definitely. It, you know what? It, 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 it takes a village, and uh, <laughs> there, there they are again. Backstage here in uh, my basement, we got a green screen stapled to the ceiling here. So, uh, Wait, so we're not, no, no, we're in, we're at Watchpoint Gibraltar. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my bad. I <laughs> didn't mean to ruin the illusion, guys. The Sorry. Illusion? No, we are here. <laughs> we are here live. <laughs> cool, cool. From Watchpoint Gibraltar. All right. All right, all right so we're just working on uh, Actually, finaling up some of the... Oh, it looks like uh, somebody lost connection to the game here. We might have to, uh, we might have to uh, reboot this game. Let's so, see. Uh, yeah, how do we uh, how do we go about this here? Did they make it all the way on that last map that we played? Uh, th no, they didn't make it all the way. So I guess I don't know. I don't know how we go about uh, doing this one. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's it's um, very we, unexpected. We could ask if uh, both teams agree to an entire rematch here. Uh, that's their call, though. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go to a short break while we figure this out. Thank you guys. Don't forget to uh, host the stream now while we got a chance. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are uh, very close to getting this started back up. Sorry about all the uh, technical difficulty stuff. We have the game exactly where it needs to be. Now we're just waiting for the time limit to run out so we can switch sides and get right back to exactly where we were. Um, we want to give a shout out to both teams for being very, uh, very courteous about this. So what's really cool about uh, what we did was um, we thankfully paused right at the end of the game. Um, no, like um, we have exactly where it was. So you can see it right there. So what we did was we reset, we, we, you know, recreated the circumstances. So it's exactly where it was. And you know what? Both teams got a second to take a breather. It's, you know, uh, I think that we'll, we'll be ready to get back in the game. And we still have some great game, you know, you know, gameplay ahead of us. Oh, definitely. And, um, There's a lot more to this tournament still. So uh, best of five is going to be a lot of material to go over here. And thank you. Once again, th this was an issue that, you know, we had, you know, wasn't, it, just a power issue. I want to yeah. say huge thanks to the team out here for, um, you know, they <laughs> they fixed it. We were scrambling. Yeah, we didn't know what to do. So, oh, um, yeah, both teams played fair. Get it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Th thank you for playing fair. Thanks. <laughs> um, but, no, yeah, we we can't thank them enough for understanding. And uh, we're, we're a smaller tournament, and we want to get bigger, but... Uh, we want to make this as uh, as realistic as possible, so we're trying to get this to the exact uh, same point here, keep things going. So uh, I think we are coming close to switching sides here. I don't know. We got about three minutes until the uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Two uh, minutes, 50 seconds, two and a half minutes. All right, minutes. cool. So we're getting there. We are very close. All uh, right. Just I want to <laughs> shout out to Red Bull. <laughs>
Welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, we're just about to start. Um, was, uh, I, I, we've thanked them enough, but you know, I, I want to thank them one more time for you know being very you know fair and very sp just acting great sportsman like conduct. Yeah, they um, did a great job at uh, restarting the match here with us. So, uh, and thank you guys for bearing with us through uh, watching this. I'm sure it's um, you know it's it's a uh, it could, could be a little bit better, but um, thank you guys for sticking with us through it. We really appreciate it, and uh, these next few games are going to be very, very interesting, and we hope you stick around to the very end. So, Absolutely do. Here we go. Garbage Squad 1, Playfair 0, but we are in the middle of a game, and we are about to switch sides here, and let's, uh, let's get close to there. All right, so 46.72. Right, we were off. one off <laughs> by 0.1. <laughs> That, but that, uh, that's very impressive that they reset it. I'll, I will be, I'm very interested to see <laughs> how, what they do to change it up because they ha they've had a little bit of time to think and, you know, convene. I mean, other than, like, what the heck's going on. <laughs> so we'll, Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, it'll be interesting to see what they come back with. It looks like uh, they're throwing on a Widowmaker, uh, Lucio and Anna as their healers. Uh, it looks like well, I don't know. It looks like they're switching it up because I think they're uh, a little frustrated. We're talking about their composition so early. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, let's, let's wait a couple seconds here. But uh, as you guys can see, they've got a interesting uh, flickering composition going on up there. Who knows what they're going to stick with at the end of this, though. Uh, the old switcheroo. But uh, let's see. It looked like Playfair was pushing that one, right? And yeah. Garbage Squad was defending. So, that so Playfair did make it pretty far. So let's see how well uh, Garbage Squad does against it. We know that uh, they, they've been like crazy, crazy strong with attacking. So let's hope that uh, they can keep that up. Maybe get uh, two wins right out of the, uh, right out of this. So yeah, you know, and Garbage Squad, they just, like we said before, they're a beast. They, you know, when they start moving, it's so hard to get them stopped. Yeah. But if they do get them stopped, you know, Playfair has just really had a solid game plan all the way around. Oh yeah. Um, there, there's uh, Zarya's dance emote. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pretty cool. So let's start talking about these compositions. Looks like they're sticking close to the. 2-2-2, two, 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 except that uh, looks like they don't even have a, a damage dealer, really. They've got the Widowmaker pick, three tanks, and then the two supports. So they really don't even have a DPS, but uh, you know that that, that Widowmaker is probably going to switch out almost uh, immediately within the first couple shots. All right, and the game's starting. And they're pushing out, and they don't have anything up there stopping them. They're backing all the way up because of the Widowmaker. Widowmaker already switched over to the Soldier pick, so they are ready to go in and get on this objective with their soldier now with them. Now this is a very interesting move by them because with a team that's so aggressive, they kind of step back a little farther than I would think they would. It, they're well, already getting a tick. Because they're so aggressive is why they stepped back. Because now they, uh, ooh, ooh, I thought oh, the, uh, the oh, Mercy was gonna oh, kill. Oh, man. Close one. Anyway, I thought that the, um, that, that's probably why they uh, they stood so far back. Was that way they kept themselves alive a little bit longer to delay the objective here. Oh, and there's another great Zarya pick. Uh, two picks by the soldier, it looks like. They got uh, their soldier a little bit out there, but... Um, I can kind of see why they did it. You know, they, they want to set up earlier, and they, they kind of figure that they're going to get the uh, point. So it's it better to be prepared than to, you know, kind of leave it up to chance. This way they're, uh, they're not staggering their deaths. Their respawn times are roughly around the, uh, the same point here, and they can group up and do their best stopping the payload, which, you know, you can only move as fast as the payload pushes on this part. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little bit easier to stop the payload push than it is uh, the, uh, capturing the actual point there. All right, looks like they're getting ready to go and set up their little wall here. They do uh, have max speed going on. That doesn't look like they're getting stopped much here. Lucio looks right. like he's going up trying to kill the... Uh, oh, to and he's kill trying. The, uh, ooh, picked out. Not in a good spot for that soldier. And they are still pushing though. Mercy's got a res. Let's see if she can pop it off. And it looks like nah, I think not, she went down. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Oh, oh, he got that stunned. That would have been a great spot for it. But uh, looks like she got picked out first. All right, attacking is catching up very quickly to the 46.72 mark. So um, let's see how well they do here. They've hit the second objective, it looks like. And they've got about six minutes to push it uh, about oh, halfway through the next one. Off the map. Pull it off the map. Oh, there you go. Man. That's a highlight there. I love doing that. Now with the uh, the newer Roadhog hook, how you can pull them and turn to the side. And oh, throw absolutely. Them off stuff too. I think it's hilarious. Incredibly frustrating though. I hate, I hate playing against it. Better than getting hooked through a wall, I say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Looks like Ryan is doing a great job of keeping that payload, payload uh, still. 
Yeah, they are getting very close though, and they do have a lot of time to kill. Hopefully they can uh, delay it just a little bit before we uh, move on to the next map. Ooh, the reds, oh, there we rest. go, that's that... what they needed. Oh, and oh man, they stopped the Roadhog ult. Are they gonna stop it from pushing though? The res kept them alive, but uh, it doesn't look like um, anybody's really dying too much here. Yeah, you know... Okay, there they go. It slowed down a little bit. They just gotta regroup, get their bearings again. They have five minutes here. I, I, I'm, I'm worried. Oh, there we go. Zarya ulti. Oh man, looks like they might be able to finish it off right here. Or keeping them pushed away, but they're, nobody's pushing on it. There we go. And that's game here. So I guess uh, Garbage Squad wins that one then? Yeah, it's 2-0. Um, you know, Garbage Squad themselves had a, uh, had a couple issues with Disconnect, and um, even this, it doesn't seem to sway them. Um, fortunately, as we said, we stopped it before uh, the match started, so there was very little um, opportunity for um, error. Yeah, we got this to be uh, as fair as possible here, so... Um... Here we got a quick play of the game by the Mercy. I bet it's that very last res at the end. That, yeah, that was some that was some great gameplay, and we uh, hopefully we can play Four, some uh, play some of the replays from the uh, the original game. Oh yeah, yeah, from the first part. If we have any material of that, anyway, we're um, we're gonna get started on the next map. What is is what do we got coming up next? Fall Sky. Hmm? Fall Sky okay. Industries, Fall Sky. and that was one of the early ones to get striked by. The uh, first two, uh, the first two games. Oh yeah, you're right. Hasn't been picked yet. All right, so. Uh, In fact, I don't think we've actually had a, uh, an assault map yet. Um, we've had we've had the King of the Hill, but we haven't had assault yet with okay. the two objectives. So yeah. th this will be an interesting one to watch, especially with two teams like this. Hopefully that Playfair can bring it back because they they've been playing so great tonight, and you know it, it's been such a close match and. Yeah, they seem you know. to be giving up the uh, the assault objectives very, very early on. But now that there's only assault, uh, assault objectives, I don't know how this is going to be played out since there's no uh, payload to follow it up. So right now, 2-0 Garbage Squad. Uh, Playfair definitely still has a chance, though. They are playing very well. And very fair. <laughs> very fair. They We're going to keep making fair. that joke as long as this is going. So. <laughs> um. yeah. Well, thank you guys for bearing with us through that. But it looks like things are going to be good to go from here on out. So... Once again, thank you for checking in. And the giveaway is still going on for the host. I know we keep saying rehost our stream, but if you rehost it, you know we're, we're keeping track, and you know we we want everyone to have an opportunity to get that twenty-five dollar. Yeah, gift card. definitely. Get as many people in on that as we can. All right. All right. Looks like we're coming up on Volsky Industries. Very exciting. Let's go. So uh, I I really think that it's either going to be. The same compositions they've been playing, uh, two, 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 or three tanks, one damage, uh, two supports. I think Garbage Squad really likes their three tank setup. I think they were the ones to pull on it. If I'm not. Uh, yeah. I'm well, not now mistaken. they've got uh, they've got some interesting picks going out there. Um, There's a Symmetra. I yep. didn't think I'd see a Symmetra in these uh, last couple games, but maybe they're trying to uh, uh, change things up. Um, still, they still have one pick to go. Um, Tracer on Garbage Squad's team. That that's a, that's a solid attack. Um, you know, this uh, the, once again, this could go either way. Uh, uh, Garbage Squad has been pretty great with the defense, but I don't, I don't know. It's uh, I wish I had uh, more things to say about this this team up. I think that uh, the Garbage Squad is uh, is going to do a pretty good job defending it, like both teams will, I'm sure. But uh, it's really going to be a battle about the uh, the second objective, the uh, B point. Is really going to be where most of the action happens, and uh, I, I've, I know the, uh, you know, if you take that first objective right away, you're, you're on that uh, second objective for a very, very long time. So a lot gets dragged out there, a lot of action, a lot of regrouping, tons of fighting going on. And, and you so. know, if you look at, their healers have been pretty consistent throughout. Um, the Mercy is the only one that's been uh, varied. I've seen them use Mercy and Zen. But Garbage Squad really loves their their Lucio Anna setup, and I think it's just because they can move faster as an aggressive line, and the Anna just it gets those heals out so much faster. Yeah. If if anything, if Playfair wants to win this, they need to find a way to break them up because when they're when they're alone, they may they're still good, but I think they're you know weaker than if they're all together mm -hmm. as a group. Well, uh, I've noticed that uh, when they have one support. They try to stick to, or you know, one actual uh, healing support, not like Symmetra. They try to stick to the um, the Mercy pick, 
Whereas in a lot of games that I've played, uh, it would be Ana is the greatest pick for a uh, solo support. Oh, absolutely. But uh, I guess, I guess in this situation, um, they want they want to get that res off because they're confident that everybody can stay alive as long as possible, and they can get a uh, they can delay it long enough to get Mercy that res. It didn't look like anyone took that flank that uh, that a lot of players take, but oh, around the uh, the left side oh, of the map absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like they really have anybody capable of doing it. Um, I mean, really nobody on the, uh, the the defending team can get around. Nobody on the attacking team can either. Maybe Lucio, I'm not entirely sure. But And they, did, they definitely don't want to break that uh, healer up from the uh, other healers because they used him to uh, get a solid push through. Yeah, definitely. Um, their Anna looks like she could use some healing. I don't know if she has her... <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it looks like she got her grenade up. Lucio is really being aggressive, which I always love seeing. Um, a lot of the top players, you know, they, they get some really high-level eliminations you know, as, you know, the better they get. Oh, yeah. All right, looks like they're coming back in, attacking really hard here. They got a lot of ultimates up. Oh, there's the res. Oh, there's that res. Man, looks res. Like everyone that got killed by that soldier's ult. Really. Fortunately, one player barely missed out of that one. Oh, and that was a double kill with Ryan's strike. That was very great. His shot. fire strike? Yeah, if you see up there. Okay. It was, uh, uh, looks like they have this one down, unless the teleporter saves oh, it for Oh, and it looks like the teleporter is down by the Roadhog. Okay, so uh, they're going on to the next objective, B, with uh, six minutes. And it looks like they're rushing right in. They're not They're not slowing down for anybody. Here. Oh, absolutely. I don't know if that's uh, their best bet or if they should, you know, wait for the rest of their team there. But uh, they're definitely getting their foot in through that front door. You know, McCree has his ult. I would definitely, if I, if I was him, I would try and... Uh, get up higher, but, you know, maybe that would give it away too fast. Ooh, there's the ult. Oh, there it is. Can't yep. do anything about it when you're grouped up in the Zarya ult. But it looks like he only got one pick there, but that still helped out the team a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, their Mercy got the res as... Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't Mercy. Uh, their, uh, their team got some ultimates as soon as they died, so that would have changed things up. Uh, Zarya's on fire, and, you know, it, she's she's earned it because she's been playing a great game this time. It looks oh, like yes. three of the other... The, their Anna, their... Reinhardt, and it looks like their Roadhog were on fire. Um, yeah, you know, that slow push, it's easy to lose that, but it's not always an, it's an exact indicator of how someone's doing. But I think this one's going to be dragged out until the very end. I think that it's either going to be very close to taking it, or they're going to take it with less than a minute left. Oh, and it looks like they're all going to be pushing from that one side, and I that's wonder, oh, it looks like they've, they've figured it out. They know what's going on. Yep, and that's probably why their, uh, their McCree wasn't up Oh, look at that, look at that. Said okay, let's see. Be. Oh, man. There he is. Ooh, I thought he was off the map. All right, that Reinhardt oh, is they're, very they're low. They're the objective because they're not, they can't get onto it. And now they're stuck outside of it. This is, uh, this is a very dangerous game they're playing here. That was very aggressive. Well done by the garbage squad. But the res comes off, and they saved it a little bit. Three-man res with that, and they can still contest it a little bit longer. But it looks like Ryan is going down really quickly, and so is the Roadhog. He's got one tick, and he's dead. The whole team's on fire. They're playing insanely wow, good. Wow, okay. This, this, you know, this team is going to be it. Yeah. yeah. And they have four minutes on the clock. That's, Wiped you know, it. That, that's going to really help them after this. I think Playfair can really come back and get both both objectives. It's going to be worth it. Um, they just they just got to stay focused, stay together. Um, you know, like I said, they were one of the first teams that said, I'm going to do this, and, you know, that shows confidence. And I think that, you know, they need to bring <laughs> yeah. that same confidence to this game right now. Definitely. Well, it is uh, it is very close. Every match is is uh it's, it's, it's been as close as it could be. It's just garbage squad is always getting the uh the final word in there. They're always getting the last hits and uh they seem to be coming out on top consistently and 4 minutes and 13 seconds is a lot to be uh to be up against. So, yeah, and you you know, it's really hard to even see what they're going to do with their picks because you know, they've done so, you know, they've switched up their strategy so many times and, you know, they're using characters in ways I wouldn't even have thought of to use <laughs> them. And uh, I'm learning so much just sitting here. I I'm excited after this. I'm going to be on it. Oh, yeah. Watch. I want to play some games yeah. after this. I'm a little <laughs> jealous. I wish I was involved in the tournament. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I would not make it nearly as far as these guys for sure. But, um, if, but you, uh, if you're watching this and you're getting pumped up and you want to participate in the tournament, listen, send us an email, send us a message on Twitter. We, Anything. We're, we're, we're as active on everything as we possibly can be. And uh, We have our, our email available to us, too. Uh, it's uh, cgillproductions at gmail.com. And uh, anything you guys uh, have questions about, if you're interested in participating, 
or uh, you know want want to collaborate on some sort of different kind of project, we would be interested in uh, talking about that as well. And also, we're looking to branch out farther than just Overwatch. We we're looking at Hearthstone. We're looking at some uh, maybe some CS:GO or maybe some uh, I don't know. We we really want to do as many tournaments as we can. We because this has been so much fun getting everything together, and we want to. Yeah, definitely. We want to do this as much as we possibly can. Game is underway. Here we got. Looks like a basic two, oh no, the three tanks on the uh, defending team, or the attacking team here. All right, They're ready to push right through with that Lucio pick. Yeah, you know, that's that's so important on this push. Even if you change it up after this to get that res, you know, looks like they're all grouped up in there. I would, <laughs> I really hope a Farrah doesn't get in there. If I was playing this game, I would have never thought to be uh, grouped up in the building over there. I always thought you should just group up and head straight to the objective, yeah. but going oh, no, off they, to the they side. Split and... up. It looks like they, they, they kind of like split up a little bit so they're not all together. I guess uh, the Lucio was trying to uh, hit some people off the edge there. Oh and, uh, man, they are being out of the, uh... so aggressive. Not oh, even. Oh, oh there look it at is. that! I thought boop. that was two boops in one, but uh... you know this is really important. And if you're if you're watching this and you're a little newer to the game or newer to the competitive scene, notice how they <laughs> don't immediately go for the objective because if they're immediately on the objective, there's so many spots they can be shot from. Right. They're they're taking care of these players first before they have anyone, and they even already have some people on the team. They're taking this so fast. I think they're taking this a lot faster than Garbage Squad took it. Anna has her ult. Is uh, I think she's the only one with her ulti. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Garbage Squad and Anna has it to defend, but they've look at got that. almost seven minutes to pull this off. So let's see. Uh, let's see if they can make it faster than the Garbage Squad did. And Garbage Squad right. did a great job at uh, taking that objective, but um, this composition just might be working for him right here. And this Lucio is going so fast too. <laughs> he, he knows how to take advantage. And once again, for newer players, if you don't know, ride off the wall and you get, <laughs> you get that, you know, that extra little speed boost. And, oh, for you know, sure. If you don't take advantage of that, you can't really be as fast as you, you know. Yeah, gotta go fast, right? Somebody says that. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, 2006. Anyway. Cool, cool. <laughs> Looks like they're making a solid push to the uh, from the right side. Can't do anything oh. about that, Meg. Oh, look at that, oh, May. There they go. Okay, they took bye a Bye-bye, May. As soon as that... Uh, as soon as that invincibility wore off. Oh, is that who did she ult? I can't even keep track. So many stuff going on. Looks like uh, Oh Robert man, Squad look at that Reinhardt charge. Is up just in time to delay it. Oh he's got he's got his ult. Can he can he drop Ooh, it? Oh that Zario might keep him off the objective here. If they can kill everybody. Are they gonna take it? Well as soon as they as soon as they get a little bit more on it, they have the uh, the Reinhardt. Oh look at this. As well. Look at this. It's so close. They got only one player going on at a time here. And then they have the uh, Reinhardt ulti to keep it down, too. Dude, this is so close, and I, I can't wait for him to drop that ult because I know he's ready to do it. They're all on fire right here. That Anna would have got that uh, Winston if, it, if her teammate hadn't gotten away, but that's not why she, he's there. Um, Ooh, that was look a nice at this. One. The, the, dude, the defending team <laughs> just can't get on that point. They, they're, they're pushing this so fast. I think they might even end up with more time than them. Uh, this this is this is what I want to see from play fair. I don't know. They are picking them out here, and they don't have a. Uh, it's very hard to get back on this map. It's a long walk. It, it, it's you know. Look at just <laughs> look at that. That Lucio ult. They're they're all tanked up. Oh, and that soldier's about to take the diva down. All right, she's killed almost. Oh, and the may drop her. Like. That, that's gonna slow things down a little bit. Oh, for sure. She's great at stalling. She can block herself off from the enemy. She can make herself unkillable. She can, this, this you know, is, whatever. Oh man, this is like I'm on the edge of my seat they're, right they're now. They're all on fire though. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that Lucio. Forward. Look at that Lucio go. Oh man, and that soldier's Soul down. Is not oh, enough. and that diva's about to go down. She's gonna drop her ult. She's getting up high. But look at the time. They're almost equal with uh, with um, they're almost equal. garbage squad right now. Look and it's. They took it, and yep, it looks like a little bit more. So we got to go into overtime here and see how this one plays out. Oh man, and I hope they honestly, I hope play fair, uh, play fair wins. Not because I'm rooting for them, but I want to see this keep going. I yeah. want to see those extra games go throughout because garbage squad. If they win this one, they win the tournament and they win the prize. But mm -hmm. you know, this, this I would is, like to see this because these are really, really, really great games that I am uh, personally having a lot of fun watching, and I would like to uh, to keep going and make it you know a little bit more intense that. Uh, it's always a lot more fun to watch. I can't, wa I can't wait to watch these replays after this. Because... Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to uh, get a video of this out there and everything. It's going to be great. Now, if this continues, can you uh, can someone read me off what the next map would be? Uh, Lee Zhang. Lee Zhang Tower. Tower. Okay, we've would... had that played in every game so far, I believe. Absolutely, and I'm hoping it will be played in this, ma this, this match right oh, here. Oh, definitely. Just, <laughs> just, to, just to extend it. Honestly, you know, it, it, I just can't express how much fun this has been 
watching these players go off. If you're even if you're a new player to Overwatch, this is what you want to watch. This is what you want to learn from because <laughs> it's all skill levels here. You know, you gotta this kind of stuff you won't see in quick play, mostly because of bad communication, but also because these these guys are both two teams that have come together and they've been practicing together. You know. But you don't always have to have a six-man stack to play this well. No, no, definitely not. Just make sure you're on your open communications and just, you know, work it out. You, you just got to grind it, you know? Now, four minutes and 13 seconds is still enough to take this first point and move on to the next one if that's what they, uh, that's what they choose to do here. Because um, they, they took the, uh, the first objective very, very quickly the first time, and I think that uh, they'll have no problem doing it again. They're going right up to the top getting as much damage off as they possibly can. And they gotta uh, retreat. All right, they're, they're, they're working their way around. It looks like uh, they're doing the same thing <laughs> they did early, but kind of inverse. Uh, this, is, this is really interesting, actually, because uh, either team that decides to jump onto the objective is just gonna get blown up by the other team. They're kind of just uh, standing their ground on either side, pretty much playing ring around the rosy around the objective or, or, there. Or, or a very complicated game. Oh, somebody get, somebody get launched off. Looks oh, look like, at that, look at that. Oh, oh man, crazy. is that a double? That's yeah, two. Well, uh, it looks like the Reinhardt charge uh, took off the other Reinhardt, so it was a, uh, you know, he, right. he killed himself in that one, too, so. Who knows how worth it that uh, was. Lucio, he better heal himself or else he's going down. <laughs> hey, soldier took out the soldier. Anna's g giving some great heals, you know. Just doing a lot of that. Oh, and look yeah. at that sleep. They woke it up immediately, though. All so. right, she's got that nano boost. Who's she going to drop it on? It looks like she might drop it on that Zarya. Well, she's got to heal up her team before anything else. So. Yeah, oh, she's down. It looks like yeah, I was right. Yep, she dropped it on the Zarya. All right, it looks like Team Garbage Squad is doing a pretty good job here. Uh, Winning you know, this objective. You got it looks about. Looks like they're going to confirm this one. A little less than three minutes to go, and it looks like they're going to. Yep, you're right. They're going to cap it. Yep, secured. Moving on to objective B with just about three minutes left, and which is still enough time to take it and have time left over, uh, according to our, our last game here. So, taxiing the uh, the Roadhog back. Just uh, took the objective <laughs> at the worst possible time for that respawn point. Now, but. if they take it here, it doesn't mean that the game is over. It just means that. The uh, Playfair has to get it in under the yeah. amount of time. Yeah, I believe that's how it works. A lot of these games don't always uh, don't always go this long, but uh, in a game like this, uh, in the Grand Finals, it's always very, very exciting Oh, to there's watch that Zarya ult. Let's see, are they going to do it? Soldier's not in it, though, so he's able to do as much damage as possible outside of that ult, save himself as long as he can. Oh, that Roadhog Zarya pick. pick. Oh, no, she lives through it. No, she, oh, she was no, so close. I'm looking at the other Zarya. <laughs> Oh, do they even have one? Oh, no. It looks like they have a Winston on their team. Oh, that was a recent switch up then, I guess. Yeah, it looks they like do, and he's Oh, doing... no, that ulti didn't go off for that Lucio. Oh, he died as soon as, it, uh, as soon as he was about to touch the ground there. Never oh. got the shield out. And I bet Zarya is going to try and pull them off with that ult. It looks like they've got this one uh, pretty close on them here, so... Wow, there he is. He got that Lucio ult off, finally. Doesn't do much when you're... Uh, you're down thanks to the Reinhardt ulti, though. Diva does not have ult, but she's still getting in there as fast as she can. Roadhog. Looks like looks, she's got some shields. You know, she's just eating all that and just, oh, look at Diva. <laughs> all right. Uh, they've got more players alive, though. they got more people to jump back on and uh, delay the objective as much as possible. They've got an offensive ulti right there oh, to stop them from getting on. That looks like that might be enough to do it. Oh, no, they had somebody in the back there. Um, but not not anymore. But she still pushes it's on. Just, it's oh, just endless, one person at a time. They, it's so, impossible to stop they, the train. You know. <laughs> oh, and Diva's. It, oh, she just got nano boosted, but she nano doesn't have Diva. ult. But maybe this will help You're her charge it. You're not supposed to use it right uh, when you get it. Otherwise, because if you hop out of the Diva mech when you're nano boosted, you don't you lose the. Uh, you oh, lose absolutely. The, uh, mech or it's, the, um, it's a great yeah, opportunity to charge it though. Looks like they they this got it with uh, I would say how much how much time to spare? About one a minute. minute. Yep. So they got to get it with, um, uh, how, how long did they have originally? Okay, yep, they just got to get under four minutes and 22 seconds. This is looking pretty, <laughs> this is, yeah, this I, is an I, exciting I, I, one. Don't, I don't have much to say because uh, anything I say, you know. They, they just, they, they just. Yeah, they just blow it out of the water, really. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just killing it right now. They have, you know, they have great communication. I've been saying that all night and, you know, I, I one of these days, I'm gonna hop in the Discord chat while uh, while the tournament is going, just because I wanted you know listen to the type of like communication they have, what they're saying. 
in the future, I would love to get uh, recordings of that and play that back. That would be very interesting to hear. Absolutely, along with uh, with the replays, and <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna try and upload a lot of these replays to YouTube. So if you have, if you have a favorite replay, shoot us an email, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see if we uh, we caught it. I think we have the whole stream here, but we also have uh, another uh, we have another system recording some of the uh, some of the plays. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just, this what we have set up here. Uh, a shout out to Ben Caratonita for you know getting this all together. He's he's the man. Thank you guys. Um, Thank you to everybody who really helped us yeah. out. We got a lot of help from tons of different people. Kevin helped us get some teams. Greg was really helpful and you know <laughs> he was instrumental in getting this together. Uh, we um, have our buddy Nick in the back getting the teams organized and ready to play. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> This all hey. this all started <laughs> this all started as a conversation at five guys that turned into an actual tournament. Let's get back to the game here. All right, looks, looks like, like they're, they're going to play another game of shit. Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> so it's that four minutes here. That shield's about to go down, and it looks like it did. Oh no, it's not broken yet. Lucio working his way around. Oh, and they're about to meet in the middle. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, there's the first pick. Oh, look at that! Three there. people on that team. Oh, and got slept. Looks like they've got to regroup before going at it. They got four people down on the attacking team, so they've got a bit, bit uh, pushing them down right now. It's not over yet, and I really hope it doesn't. You know, it's not over for them because you know. I want to see more. For Absolutely. Sure. All right, that, sold, got that their, soldier's waiting. They got the Lucio, grouping them up, ready to speed boost back in here. And uh, Playfair is looking to make the next move. Going around the other side. All right. Looks like they might change their mind down. here. I don't know if they want to go right into them here. This looks like they're doing. They're forcing them back. Yeah, you know, probably something they didn't expect because they've been trying to play, you know, kind of like not stealthy, but you know. Oh, look at that pick on the Zarya. Oh, oh, was that a soldier with the Zarya shield on? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. Is he off? And no, no, it looks like he's just barely on. Saved himself. But it looks like it got a couple of picks. <laughs> they might be able to Roadhog take this first point now. quicker. If All right. They're, uh, the defensing te defense team right now looks like they're uh, they're pretty scattered. They've got a long walk back to the objective. Now is their chance to take this if they got it. They got two minutes and thirty seconds to make it to the next objective here. Uh, I think they might just let them have it because there's not really much they can do right here if they can get back on there in time. But it it's going to well, leave any, them. Any delaying is important when uh, when they're so close to uh, getting the next yeah. objective. They just got under three minutes here to get objective B. So. Uh, uh. Now, I wonder, is, is it going to cut them off once they hit the 108 mark? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think so. All right, looks like they're grouping up up top. And they are ready to jump down with that Reinhardt ult, hopefully. Get, oh, look uh, at that get soldier. Good picks. But the uh, defense team right now, Garbage Squad, has got a tons of ultimates ready to, uh, to counter that. Can you boop them off? Nope. Nope. Very great, oh, Zarya Shield. Oh, oh, no! no. Wait, oh. wait. Oh, oh man. no, that's a uh, that's an important ultimate that they just lost there. <laughs> and the emote. There they go. Oh, uh, let's hope that that's dancing that's squad. Right. <laughs> uh, they're wait they're waiting. All right, they're getting some uh, some charge up across the map. That Zarya, getting that ultimate coming up for him. That's going to be important to uh, defending this, keeping him off the objective as long as possible. Both Zarya's have their ultimates very, very close. They're both at 100, just about. And uh, really, whichever one gets the better play, using that really might, uh, might, might call the game here. It looks like there's ults across the board, except for Zarya, and uh, except for Roadhog on the uh, Garbage Squad team. They've got to get in there quick. They don't have a lot of time left. But All a minute right. 30. Ooh, ulti down. Oh, look. Oh, Zarya look. ulti's off. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a lot of damage in there. And it looks like uh, Garbage Squad killed enough people to defend this and just make it last a little bit longer here. And uh, they've, uh, they've got to regroup for uh, Play Fair and make it back here. They've only got just about a minute left, but they do have a lot of their ultimates still, which is good. They didn't use them all there uh, once they realized they were losing that fight. If anything, it was, great. it was a great job using them to spend some of theirs. Roadhog is about 50% way. Um, I, I think Zari is about 18%. Yeah, so, they both got a. They both use Zari ults, so that's something both teams are not going to have for this end of fight here. Soldier's just about ready to drop his, but I think he might pair his his up with uh, someone. I, would, I don't know. I don't know what he's got. Uh, he's got. They got Ana, which I it, guess they could. They could nano him. Yeah, but it doesn't look like they're going the to. Nano to Lucio. Oh, 
Look at that. Stop Nano's the getting other one. Any damage off at all. All right, that's one pick for him. The Nano dude go on to Zarya. So it looks like neither team has any ultimates available to them right now, and it's just all about playing, all about the skill right here. And they've got 15 seconds to make it back. It looks like they're just going to have to run in one at a time and try to delay it as long as possible. Yeah. That's their only shot here because they can't get grouped up just in time. All right. Is, is someone going to make it to the point in time? I'm not 100% sure. They got two, one. And somebody's on. Someone's just on. Just for a second. Oh, he was dancing. It's in over time. They've got people on the objective. This is a crucial time. It looks like Roadhog might have his ult. He might clear this, the space with that. Uh -oh. If he can pull that off and knock him off, that would be fantastic. Oh, Diva with a great him. shield. She still gets knocked out of mech, though. Oh, and Lucio gets on the point. A little bit of time to defend it. You know, he just got, he has he's to gonna keep... go in last second there, and it's back on. Let's see. They oh, and he's the, dead. Uh... Is anyone there able to get on the nope. point? That and that's like... it for this tournament. Yeah. It looks like Garbage Squad cleans it up. That was an amazing game. You know, I, I, I don't even yeah, know what to say. Congratulations to Garbage Squad. They really just, they played so well. Both teams played very, very well. Especially with the issues that they had earlier with the, with oh, the player yeah. disconnecting, any issues that we had with our system. But, you know... They, every, everybody recovered very, very well here. All right. So we're, 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 we're going to have an interview with both teams here. Um, First, we'd like to uh, look at this play of the game. Looks like it's the, uh, the Roadhog play. I wonder if he's going to get anybody off the map here. That ulti. Uh, looks like someone fell off. Yep. One environmental kill. Oh, two, three. Look at that. Wow, crazy. So three That's environmental kills and then a hook there. Great. Great job by them. Um... We would like to get uh, some interviews thrown in here, but first we're going to announce the winner of the um, the host giveaway. Thank you for hosting our stream, Theo Class, for uh, you know hosting, and you're you're gonna win the uh, twenty-five dollar gift card here. So, so we'll get that to you within forty-eight hours. So. And yeah, and it's gonna be your choice. So uh, we'll be in contact. Uh, congratulations to all our winners of the giveaways. Congratulations for Garbage Squad. They won one hundred and twenty dollar. Uh, you know, grand prize, grand yep. prize, yeah. We got four uh, teams in on it, so $120 was the grand prize for this tournament, and uh, it goes right to Garbage Squad. So, all right, and we're, we're just waiting now for the interview. Um, in the future, we're, we're, we're excited to have more tournaments with larger prize pools, and we're gonna have first, second, third prizes in the future. Unfortunately, with the size of this tournament, and we, we just couldn't do it. Um, but once again, congratulations, it was such a close game yeah uh, I, I can't express it we, we got all the replays going on up here you, you, you know I've learned so much from this and <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna I definitely want to reach out I want them to participate in future tournaments because you know you know you gotta come back I want to yeah. see a garbage squad play fair again you know you know all right I believe we're going to go to a quick break while we uh, set up the interviews closing out the uh, stream here so uh, thank you guys and we will be back with you shortly
and we are back with uh, two members from Team Playfair, Scythe and uh, Max Dermon, right? Uh, Max, Max Man. Max Man, okay, I'm sorry. Max Dex Man. Sorry, no one gets it right. <laughs> Man Dex Man, oh, okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, you guys played a fantastic game. Thank you guys for uh, participating in the tournament. How do you guys think those games went? Uh, Man Dex, you want to go first? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think they actually went uh, very good. That was a very good competition for us. I honestly, we were kind of actually scoping out the team a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. and we thought that we were just going to get, like, we were just going to be no competition to them, and we actually surprisingly held up the fight, and I oh, for sure, they're very good games. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was quite proud of the, uh, especially the, the Dorado map. We, we came close on a lot of them. I got to ask, how long have you guys uh, been a team? How long have you been playing well, together? I think roughly two or three months. Okay. Yeah, and was this, this your first time participating in a tournament? Uh, second. Second last time? Was last Sunday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Got, How'd that go for you? We got dominated by a, a high-tier team, though. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you did much better this time. I mean, I'm sure if you didn't, you just didn't get <laughs> dominated. So uh, uh, it, was a, it was pretty close all the way through. So what do you guys think you could have done differently as a team? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Um, I think I think the the best thing that we could have done is so, it, going in we kind of had a game plan. Uh, what we were gonna kind of do for, we were watching them earlier, mm -hmm. uh, deciding on what we want to do for uh, for standard or dive. Um, but I think it kind of fell apart as the the games went uh, on. Um, you didn't stick I know, to your strategy. Uh, yeah, finals week was going on, so I know a lot of us, uh, especially me, was kind of stressed, so it just kind of, like, fell apart. So there was kind of situations where people would switch where it wasn't really necessary, or we didn't switch enough. Um, we just, we didn't we didn't focus on calling, and I know in the end, um, our, our comms got very, got very scattered, and I think that very much um, led us to lose quite a few of the matches. I hear you. But you still had some great game plan. I do want to ask, uh, do you plan on participating in any more uh, Seagull Productions uh, tournaments that we might host? Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I, I know. Yeah. I, know um, uh, I quite enjoy this event. It's it's a very it's a very different feeling than a scrim when you have uh, something on the line there. Yeah. Well, in the future, we would like to get uh, things together a little bit quicker, so that way maybe you guys can be introduced to the teams you uh, will be playing against ahead of time, and uh, you know get a chance to play some of the games out, and uh, you know just feel things out, do some scrims, whatever. But uh, either way, with the, uh, with the time we had and with the technical difficulties, you guys did extremely well. So thank you guys very much for participating. We, uh, we appreciate it greatly. So. Yep. Thank you for thank you this tournament. It was amazing. Yep. <laughs> thank uh, you, guys. And we look forward to seeing yeah. you again. And, uh, we're going to take another short break while we uh, try and get in contact with uh, two, two members of Garbage Squad, I believe. Yep. So um, just uh, we'll play some replays, and uh, we'll be right back.
right, and we're back, and we're here with uh, two members of Garbage Squad, uh, Dewey's Vault and Frost. Uh, guys, you did an amazing job. How do you feel right now? We're pretty ecstatic that we actually worked together. <laughs> yeah. We, we honestly were... We didn't expect what to come into the tournament. We just expected to have a fun time, play with each other, and potentially learn something new, which we all did. Yeah, we uh, we just formed this team a couple of days ago. Just decided that try, give a shot at it. And yeah, it was pretty great. Well, you yeah. guys killed it for sure. Oh, you guys yeah. did a great job for only being a team for a couple of days. And uh, I'd say that it was uh, a lot of the matches were pretty close, even though you won um, three to zero at the end. They were. And yeah, they were really. <laughs> it was very challenging. They've played up a, a really good fight. Like it was tough. We, and heck, we almost thought we were going to lose their auto of that disconnect, but we somehow just put up our pocket pick and just made it. Got through with it. Yeah, you guys did great. Even though uh, we had all those technical issues, and you guys did have that disconnect, and you guys uh, still came out ahead in that one. I gotta ask, what uh, what, what are you guys doing differently as a team if you had the chance to go back and fix some of the fights that you did lose? I feel like for that situation, we should have communicated more, and some of us were out of position for the most part. We also had different ideas and lots of hesitation going on at the same time, which has cost us some of the fights in that kind of scenario. So I think that we should work on getting straightforward to a plan that's popping up right away, and instead of like sitting around and being, oh, I don't want to go, oh, we should go. Like Basically, we should not be split as a team mentally. We should be there right there and then. All right, I hear you. And um, what would you guys have done differently as players? Like individually? Uh, anything you guys would have changed about yours? Okay, so for me, considering I play a lot of Zarya, I feel like my awareness should be way better. Overall, I feel like I should not be so eager to use my bubbles, my abilities and whatnot. And sometimes I get like a little bit of a trigger finger with my ultimate. So, which also can cost a big game considering it's very influential. So I feel like for myself personally, I should work on my awareness and some of my mechanical skills with the hero I play. All right. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't no, cut you oh, I'm sorry. I, but as for me, I'm, I've played a lot of different heroes, so I don't really have much to specialize on, but since I've played Ryan this game, I felt like I, I need to work to be on being more comfortable with Reinhardt because when we first started, like in the best of five, best of five against play fair like i just did not feel that comfortable against the reinhardt mm -hmm. like i just felt like i was going to be getting destroyed by him but eventually like i just kept giving it my best shot and i felt like the lot of things i could have improved on too as well was like my shatters and my uh, shields i some, i just did not manage my shield that well i just caught myself out of position a lot i didn't know where to really put myself at it's just lost a lot of things to do with positioning I felt like I've made mistakes with. Yeah, well, uh, you, you both uh, played well enough to, um, to win the tournament, so that's, uh, that's also very important. So congratulations to you guys. Um, Thank you so much for having us. Oh, my yeah, pleasure. We'd, be, we'd love to so have much. you back again. Uh, you know, maybe uh, go against Play Fair when they're more prepared, and um, you know, maybe redo the, uh, the grand final match in a different tournament someday. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, we definitely want to play them that. again. Yeah, they were a good team. Shout out to them. I really yeah, shout like playing against them. Def they were good people with good sportsmanship. I love seeing that. Yeah, they were great. They played fair. Yes. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you guys shout so much for board. participating. Uh, we will uh, we will speak with you shortly um, after uh, we will speak with you shortly after the tournament. And uh, it's been great talking to you guys. Thank you for uh, coming on. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah, Thank oh, you so it, much. It, it's our pleasure. We, we, like I said, as soon as we uh, do our next tournament, you're definitely getting invited because we want, you know, we, we want that same kind of fire oh, yeah. that we saw against Play Fair because, oh, man, that was something else. <laughs> I want to give a quick shout-out to all the teams that played. Everyone played amazing. Uh, those first two games, they, they were a little quicker, but I want to see everyone that played tonight back in the next match. Uh, I'm, I'm Puns and Buns. Uh, this has been so wonderful. Thank you, everyone, and thank you to my team for making this happen. And uh, I am RB Rockers, and uh, I am also uh, very thankful that we got to, uh, to do this event, and we would love to do more in the future. We are very, very excited. We do have a little bit of experience now. Hopefully, we can come back and do this a thousand times better. And also, uh, I want to give a couple more shout-outs. A quick one to the sponsor, uh, once again, All Things Video Games. Uh, you know, can't thank them enough. Oh, yeah. Um, check them out allthingsvideogames.com buy some buy some supplies you know gamecube controllers or 
<laughs> buy some like anything uh, you need to get back into that retro ret gaming you know um, thank got a whole bunch of stuff thanks for the team uh i think we're gonna get a quick shot of the team and our little setup this 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 is just you know how great is this you know we we put this together <laughs> this started as a conversation at five guys we just you know we wanted to do something and you know this you know want to do something with our summer i guess <laughs> so we got started early so. and like I said, shoot us an email if you want another tournament. Shoot us an email if you want to participate in the next Overwatch tournament. Tell all your friends. Get your groups together. And I want to see everyone back here maybe in a couple of weeks for another uh, yeah, another tournament. Definitely. Another bigger tournament with a bigger prize. We would love to see you all back here next time. Until then, thank you very much. I'm RB Rockers. And I'm Puns and Buns. And have a wonderful night, guys. <laughs>
talk to me honestly I'm here Wrong and now I know Don't think that I won't try This is not goodbye 